What's shaking, nerds? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I hope you guys are smiling up a storm today. Today's video is all about trying to find a key tool and a docs case and where you can actually find them in game. I'm also going to tell you my opinion on why I prefer one over the other in case you just want to buy this from the flea market. I, you know, there is a lot of varying opinions on this, but I'm just going to give you my two cents right away. The big thing the key tool has over, say, the docs case is a key tool only takes up one slot. If you only have an alpha, this is really, really good for you. You, there, It's really valuable resources in your alpha, so if you're only using it for keys, I, I highly recommend this. The key tool can hold up to 16 keys. Also, if you're using this, you're probably using a wallet, and that's why I kind of edge to the side of docs case. but. Since the newest patch with all the key cards, I just think the Docs case reigns supreme now, and I'm gonna show you guys why now. So before this latest patch, you guys, there wasn't a thing called key cards. We didn't have that in the game. So now to get into labs, you need an access card, or to get into some of the better rooms in labs, you need the key cards that are red, blue, green. Uh, so with the Docs case now, not only can it hold the keys, it can get money, but it can hold any sort of lab key card you find also and it can also hold folders with intelligence and it can also hold uh, some flash drives for you it's all preference you guys if you're just using this for keys you don't care about labs key card or you'll get rid of something in your alpha if you find a lab key card that's great I use this but again I do have a gamma so I do have that extra space if I did have an alpha I don't know what I would use I think I might use a key tool for the first half of the game and then move over to a docs case later on because that's when I'll have more key cards and whatnot. Uh, I just prefer a docs case because it can hold all these things. What do you guys think? What do you guys run? I want to know. Put in the comments below what you guys prefer to run and why. I want to know that, that big reason. Why do you guys prefer one over the other? Let's stop jibber jabbering what's better, what's worse, what's the best, what's the greatest, and let's just get down to where you can find either or. How about that? So the first map we're going to look at is Customs. In this video, I'm going to show you three locations that are the only three in the game currently that can spawn the key tool or the docs case. Now the first one I'm going to show you, which is at the three story dorms on Customs, actually needs a key so what you need is the marked room key because it's called the marked room and unfortunately it only does pop up on dead scav so if you're lucky enough early in the wipe or early while you started playing you might find it or stumble upon it and if not you're just gonna have to buy it off the flea market but it is a good investment because you can find a lot of good loot there so here we are in front of the three-story dorms and I'm just gonna go all the way up the front we're gonna want to go all the way upstairs to the third floor and then we're gonna hang a left and go all the way down the hall. Now the last door on our right here is the marked room and we're gonna open her up. And we got an RSAS, which is actually really good. That's 250,000 rubles right there. It's a great thing to find. And something I want to point out, guys, is a key tool could be really small. So when you're looking for stuff on the ground, you're going to see a white dot. That means there's something there. So make sure you pick up everything in your vicinity until that white dot is gone. Because you never know if something maybe is just hiding under the floor. Sometimes it glitches out like that. But see, now the white dot's gone, so nothing's there. You can look over here to the left, and there's something there. There's some money. We didn't find a key tool or a docs case, but this does have a chance to spawn. I've seen weapon cases. I've seen RSASs. I You could pretty much find almost anything in this room. It's actually quite amazing, the stuff you can find. So it, the key is worth it, you guys. The next location we're going to go to is actually still on customs. You don't need a key for this one. Don't worry, guys. And you have to also be careful because there's only one way in and out of this location. But just like marked room, this can also spawn anything on the table. It can spawn, you know, your weapons cases, fort armor, fast MTs. So it's a good place to check. But again, like I said, just be careful if you're making too much noise. People will know you're there and they know which way you're coming out. 
So we're gonna go up to it. It's just at the end of these uh, train tracks right here. We're gonna hang a left. So where you're going to want to go is directly into that cabin area right here in front of us. And where the items spawn is just on the table. So anything can spawn on this table, you guys. Again, make sure you pick everything up just to use that white dot thing. So there's a silencer, there's a nice gun, there's a Tashanka. It's, it's not a nice gun, but it's a silence pistol. But this is where a lot of items can spawn. It's a random chance, you guys. It's very low on the docks case and the weapons cases and the key tools, but there is a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. The last place we're gonna go is to woods and we're gonna hit up the marked circle. So it's kind of like the marked room, but this is in the middle of a forest. It is kind of confusing to get to sometimes. I had to kind of learn a trick here and I'm gonna show you how I find it and the easiest way I personally find it in woods. The first thing I do is I just go straight to checkpoint. So it has this SUV here and just a heads up, if you open up the driver's side door, the violet key card has a chance to spawn on the seat. So I go directly straight from the SUV and we're gonna head right to the mark circle. And here we are. And again, again, because of the white dot thing, I'm gonna pick everything up just to make sure that we've gotten everything. It wasn't that good of a marked circle, but again, you have a slight chance of finding a key tool and a docks case in here. So those are the three ways you can find a key tool or a docks case without spending the rubles. Remember, I do stream five days a week, nerds. So if you have any questions, anything like that, come on by. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Also, if you want to give this video a like, maybe think about subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. And I will talk to you nerds later.